Hey, I'm Kim Barrick, and I'm often asked why I paint the subjects that I paint. Well, I'm a seeker of light. I'm drawn to the light. I love things that are alive with light. So today I'm going to talk about a series that I'm doing for a new show. It's a subject that I've painted many times before. Tiny little creatures living in a miniature world that drew me in to their light. Today I'm going to talk about bees. The first time that I included bees in a painting, it was very unintentional. I had set up a still life outside. It was a hot day and I noticed that the bees were coming in and collecting pollen from the cut flowers. I thought, well, I wonder if I can capture those bees as they floated from blossom to blossom. And sure enough, there they are. It was very exciting. My real love affair with bees started one fall when the goldenrod were blooming outside my studio. There were so many bees floating around in this golden forest and I just could not stop staring at them. I photographed hundreds and hundreds of shots of them floating and crawling all over these goldenrod and I just fell in love. And that's sort of how it happens with me in a series. I just become almost obsessed with whatever it is that is capturing my attention at the time. And those love affairs turn into a whole series of work until I'm done. So what does it mean to be done with a subject? Well, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I hadn't painted bees in a while, but then I was asked to curate a show documenting bees through art um, as a way of highlighting their endangered status right now. They're uh, being attacked by a virus. And that really made me want to revisit my beloved subject, the bees. There's nothing more yummy than the smell of crab apple blossoms in the springtime. And this year in my crab apple trees, I found this guy floating right in those blossoms. And boy, was he having a time. I imagine him drunk with love for all of that pollen. In this piece, I wanted to capture that intent that a bee seems to have when they found just the perfect spot to zoom into. And hollyhocks, and bees just are a perfect marriage for me. The hollyhocks are so lively and you get to see those little bees crawling up into the cups and uh, really shaking those little booties. And boy, what a fun, fun, wonderful, wonderful experience that is. Just like any love affair, there's a honeymoon stage where you're absolutely fascinated. And then there's sort of the lifetime intrigue and interest in a subject that is really a true love and not just an infatuation. I think bees fall into that category for me. They are always engaging and I love the way the light flashes on those cellophane wings. They're so small and yet they do such a big job in the world, pollinating flowers and producing food and they just fascinate me and I wonder if I ever will be finished saying all I need to say about bees. Thank you for coming to my studio today and letting me talk about bees. I hope my paintings will inspire you to think about these tiny creatures in a new way. I hope someday we'll get to have this show. It is slated for later in the summer. Um, I guess we'll all wait and see how that happens. In the meantime, be filled with light be alive with light, stay safe, and stay healthy. I'm Kim Barrick, and this is the Kim Barrick Studio, Alive with Light.